first there were 34 rhinos, then there were 35 rhinos, but I recently realized that neither of those decks actually went far enough. So today we're heading to modern to play a hundred rhinos, literally a hundred rhinos in a deck I'm calling Rhino of Wits. Hey, hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and today we're playing the biggest brain brew that we've tried in a long time. We are playing a hundred Siege Rhinos in modern in a deck I'm calling Rhino of Wits. So let's talk about how we can possibly fit a hundred rhinos in one modern deck and then see the deck in action. So first off, step one to playing hundred Siege Rhinos in a deck is Battle of Wits. We need to play more than 60 cards to be able to fit a hundred rhinos in our deck. The thing is, it feels weird to just run more than 60 cards for no reason. Well, Battle of Wits is our reason. Battle of Wits wants us to have 200 more cards in our library on our upkeep and then we win the game that means we need to play about 250 cards to have a chance of winning with battle of wits and that means we have a lot of space to play siege rhinos so that's step one getting enough flexibility enough card slots to play a ton of rhinos as far as our rhinos rhinos one through four actual siege rhino and this is an important one because many of our other cards need a rhino on the battlefield to become rhinos so step one of our deck is really finding that first siege rhino and for this we have 38 tutors they can find siege rhino or some of them can find battle of wits as well so this gets us up to 42 siege rhinos then we have 37 cards that can copy siege rhino and these are the reasons why having that first siege rhino is so important like phantasmal image if we have a siege rhino it's a two mana siege rhino which is absurd if we don't have a siege rhino though it's obviously not upping our rhino count but these 37 cards get us up to 79 rhinos in our deck then we have 12 lands that can copy siege rhino so that's 91 rhinos then we have eight cards that can get rhino back from the graveyard so that's 99 rhinos and then for our last rhino our 100th rhino we cheat a little bit. We got Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon, it doesn't actually put a rhino body on the battlefield, but it does copy rhinos enter the battlefield trigger, which is probably the best part of a siege rhino. So I think it's close enough to count as rhino number 100. And that is Rhino of Wits. That is our super big brain brew for today. So before we jump into the game and see the deck in action, a quick reminder, if you need some rhinos or some battle of wits or maybe some double master shoe cards, you can get them from our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtgold fish anyway let's see how many siege rhinos we can get on the battlefield in modern with rhino of wits all right we are playing the rhino is deck of all time we are playing a rhino of wits a hundred rhinos we've actually done it we have fit a hundred rhinos into the same deck and also battle of wits we'll, we'll see if we can win a game with it that's gonna be the the big challenge misty rainforest we can probably just get a forest here oh my god searching this deck's gonna be an adventure <laughs> so many rhinos uh we will take a forest play the ig noblest of hierarchs yeah so we got a bunch of ramp but that's fine we actually we do not mind just having a bunch of ramp and then hopefully we find a tutor to get oh my god what? <laughs> got him got him <laughs> They're trying to mill us out. <laughs> they had double archive. They had double archive trap, and we still have 216 cards. This is the dream. Oh, it's the free win. There's no way. There's no way. There ain't no way. Opponent fatal pushes our noble higher. Sure. All right, 216 cards to go, buddy. You can do it. You can. I'm actually. I'm kind of rooting for our opponent because if they can mill 250 cards, they deserve to win. They did. They are doing it on. This is mill on hard mode. Sylvan carry had to go. They did manage to mill a battle of wits. We were actually. Our next card was going to be battle of wits, which would have been pretty good but there's still a bunch more in our deck the downside is they probably can mill enough that we can't will with uh win with battle of wits so we're definitely gonna have to find other other plans for winning the game which is gonna be i guess rhinos for days cavern of souls well uh all right let's explore Ooh, eladrami's call that's a good one uh scalding tarn cavern of souls on rhino of course um play ignoble hierarch watch us lose to mill that would be that would be something past the turn opponent going to draw all the cards mm -hmm. 
undaps. We're getting to the point where we can use spitting image from our graveyard, which is nice. Fatal pushes the Hierarch, okay. And a bonnet going to pass. Well, Crack Scalding Tarn. Get Rafine's Tower, untap. Oh, playing Windswept Youth, pass the turn. We gotta find a window to get a Rhino. And then we need the Rhino to resolve and to live. Opponent cracks the polluted delta, gets a swamp. I mean, we can start making more Sylvan carry added, but is that even good? Not really. Opponent, field of ruin. I really don't want to Eladrami's call into the void here if I can help it. Let's crack one sub teeth. Grab a another triome. Uh, like, we're actually going to be able to get the worm at some point. That might be our win con. No one expects Panglacia worm. Sidisi. Well, Sidisi. Do you have a counter? It appears the answer is yes. All right, opponent has drowned in the lock. Opponent untaps. Oh, they've run every Visions of Beyond. So opponent has all the cards. Can they actually kill us with the cards though? They have a crab, so we can bolt the crab at some point. Actually, maybe copying the crab is better. Maybe we're trying to mill our opponent out with their own crabs. Opponent, gonna keep trying. They almost got us under 200. <laughs> Oh, opponent passing. So if we draw a land, I think we discard it and try to copy. Yeah, let's spitting image, discard the land, try to copy the crab. I mean, I guess the good news is we've gotten through three, three visions of beyond. So our opponent should at some point stop having car draw. All right. Well, this is fine because we also get to mill. We have a ton of basics, so they're not going to strip mine us anytime soon. And I feel like our mill is more valuable than our opponent's mill here. Like, we just have so many cards in our deck. We are, we're down to 201. So it does mean that our Battle of Witzkill is essentially offline now. I don't know if our opponent can mill us out. Like, can they mill us out in 32 turns? If our opponent draws their entire deck, can they mill us out? Maybe. All right, opponent, mills and mills. Like, they're going to run out of lands eventually, too, for their crabs. Down to 195. Fractured Sanity. Down to 181. Oh, there goes a Panglacia Worm. And Nile Spellbomb. Sure, sure, sure. Opponent passing. What do we draw? Glass Pool Mimic. Now, let's play it as a land. Mill you. Pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Probably going to bolt their crab. All right, crab down, opponent. All right, kills our crab. Still has five cards in hand. All right, gonna cash in the spell bomb. Yep. Well, there goes our graveyard for now. This does turn off Drown in the lock. Fractured Sanity. Well, Eladrami's call. Oh my god, this is dirty, but I think we just take Gingataxius. Yeah, we actually have the mana for it. That seems pretty good. This is technically a Rhino. We do need to draw a Rhino, but <laughs> seems, uh, seems decent against our opponent's board here. They're gonna need more Drown in the locks. Opponent plays a land. I mean, they could have another drown in the lock. Passes. Prismatic ending. Well, I mean, here goes nothing. Jingataxius, do you have the drown in the lock? Looks like the answer is yes. Opponent's down to three cards, though. Three. We're still at 164 cards in our library. They milled our burial rights, our one of, so we can try again next turn to get back Jin. All right, Hedron Crab. Well, I mean, prismatic ending that at some point. Opponent. Ottawa, mill some cards. We have more graveyard hate. Two cards in hand. Two. Is it just impossible for our opponent to mill our entire deck? Where's our rhinos? Where's our rhinos? Well, one, two, three, four. Let's try this again. Unburial rights, Jin. <laughs> We're kind of set up to play against mill, I guess. Opponent. Yeah, another ground in the lock. All right. Surgically extracts our one of Jin. But opponent's running out of cards. Opponent is running out of cards. Yeah, so opponent fizzles that. Well, prismatic ending the... Actually, maybe we leave the crab. We might want a Mythos of a Luna if we draw land. That's probably better. Opponent untaps. 160 cards to go. 160. You got it. You got it, friend. There's Atasha Sidious Laughter. How many does it get? Nine. Nine Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> Down to 150. All right, opponent passes. Opponent drew so many cards, too. We draw what explore well cast explore draw a card mythos of a luna on hedron crab maybe we're actually 100 crabs <laughs> the way this game's playing out i don't think they've milled or exiled any rhinos yet though somehow they've milled like uh, 100 cards and no rhinos opponent all right opponent is officially out of magic the gathering cards um yeah let's get rid of the crab all right I mean, opponent, no more cards. Can you find a way to beat us? I guess we're on the Tangle Floral Hedron beatdown plan now. Opponent, 
passes fluorohedron. Well, uh, boom, tangle fluorohedron and go. Beat down, beat down time. We're gonna hold on to one tangle fluorohedron because we do want a card to discard if we draw a rhino. Opponent, fractured sanity. All right, they have us down to 134. Rhino, you have Maya Coast. Go to combat, attack ya. Opponent takes it. Well, I guess we trying to make some tangle floral hindrance. <laughs> Ghastly mimicry on floral. This would be so much better if we actually found a rhino, but that has not happened yet. <laughs> what a ridiculous matchup. <laughs> Battle of Wits versus Mill. I'm so glad this happened. I'm so glad we hit Mill. About it. Wow. Okay, there's officially the last round in the lock. It is actually official at this point. There are no more in our opponent's deck. Rhino. Rhino. Well, okay. Tangled Florahedron. Past the turn. I mean, we're going to find him eventually. We have to find him eventually. Opponent untaps. All right. The last visions of Beyond. <laughs> Ruin crab. Well, that is more milling. Eventually, this is going to mill into more cloning effects, though. About it. Passing. Or we could draw a rhino. Progenitor mimic. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mimic. Playing that ruin crab might have been risky for our opponent here. Might have been risky. Uh, copy the ruin crab. Land. Milia. <laughs> I'm surprised our opponent just has it scooped in frustration. <laughs> Did you really draw another removal spell? Ottawa. Okay. Well, we can do it again next turn. Mill our opponent. Pass the turn. Opponent on taps. We still have 10 times as many cards in our deck that compared to our opponent. Feel the ruin. Mill some cards. Still no rhinos. All the rhinos are in the bottom. Our opponent has officially reached the halfway mark. We started at 250. They have officially milled half of our deck. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the greatest uh, the greatest thing to happen in the history of magic, honestly. Opponent. They probably want to use a Field of Ruin before we play this Mimic again on their crab. Rhino. Rhino. Misty Rainforest. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mimic. Copy your crab. Misty Rainforest. Milia. Crack Misty Rainforest. Proving Grounds. Milia. And you know what? Let's just go for it. I don't think there's anything we have to lose at this point. Quasi duplicate the crab, discard the birds, and you're go. We are out of cards. You did it about it. Would you like to field of ruin? <laughs> you can mill us. If you field of ruin, you get a land drop and you mill us opponent. Heater and crab. Yeah. And picks up a boro, replays a boro, mills us for six. I mean, so if we ever draw a land, we, we mill the rest of our opponent's deck. Non-lands, I guess, are also fine. We get even more Ruin Crabs. <laughs> we would like to be doing this with Rhinos. Oh my goodness. All right, opponent, I have bad news. Um, Primal Command, we will shuffle our graveyard into our library and search for a creature. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be the worst matchup in the literal history of magic. <laughs> I don't know if this has ever happened before, but it's gotta be, right? There's no, there's no way. Can you imagine a worse matchup than, than what is currently happening for our opponent? I, I don't know if I can, honestly. Like, this literally might be the worst matchup. I'm surprised our opponent's playing it out, honestly. <laughs> this is probably just the worst matchup that has ever happened in the, <laughs> in all of Magic's Extreme Mill versus Battle of Wits. <laughs> Who would have thought? Run it like that. Best of luck, opponent. Best of luck. <laughs> oh, that's right. We had Yarion too. I forgot about that. Wow. Yeah, I guess we could have got another threat with our Yarion. Ooh. Okay. 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 I like this. We might actually find a Rhino this game. Opponent. Watery Grave untapped. And crab. One. Opponent passes. Well, wooded foothills. Go. Yeah. Opponent untaps. So we have green, red. Ooh, okay, double crab. Double crab is a little scary, but no land. Okay, I guess that makes it slightly less scary. Oh, crack what it fails. See if our opponent has a bunch of archive traps, which seems probable. Let's get Xander's Lounge. Untap. Um, well, play the forest and suspend profane tutor. Go. Well, once our opponent draws lands, they're gonna get to start milling us. Opponent. 
So many crabs. So many crabs. That is kind of scary. Oh, they find a land too. All right. So they mill nine. Like this is possibly a way that our opponent could beat us. I think this is actually a possibility. Like three crabs. That's a lot of repeatable mill if our opponent keeps hitting their land drops. All right. Profane tutor taken down. Well, let's far seek for. Yeah, let's get Spara's headquarters and then play Floral Hedron. Gil. Opponent archive traps us and visions of beyond all right i mean opponent's going off opponent is officially going off here this could be a way we could lose wow they might have found a way by just keeping a hand with three crabs that we can't actually deal with at the moment make that four crabs and there's the land i mean this is exceedingly unlikely but it's it's working for our opponent here opponent mills us mills us mills us mills us opponent passing yeah i'm getting a little nervous about where we're at now all right here comes profane tutor we will cast it okay so what do we want i mean the safe choice is always just to take a rhino can't really go wrong with rhinos actually you know what this is boring but i think we take our one endurance take the one endurance play the mountain let's see green blue white red whatever bring to light now we're gonna try to get the supreme verdict about it mystical dispute all right sure pass the turn i mean this is annoying for sure opponent untaps disappointed by the the lack of rhinos so far although this endurance at some point should be really good opponent surgically extracting bring to light uh okay sure i mean two of them are in the graveyard already this does let our opponent know about the endurance in our hand but we want to wait and try to get maximum value out of it and i mean bring to light's very good but it's not essential to our game plan someday we're gonna get a rhino it's gonna happen yeah opponent gets rid of our bring to lights and Tasha's hideous laughter for how many? Wow, actually at 17. That's impressive. All right, the opponent passes. Explore. Well, uh, mimic on ruin crab. Land drop. Milia. Pass the turn. <laughs> Opponent's also in danger of timing out a little bit, which I guess is not a surprise. If our opponent's four crab draw is not enough to mill our deck, I uh, this might just be a matchup that is literally unwinnable for mill it might just be okay five crab draw rather crab number five the opponent passes growth spiral well i mean i think it's time to try to get a rhino the time has come we went way too long into this match without getting a rhino finale of devastation library siege rhino where's our rhinos oh my god are there no rhinos in this deck <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh! I was I was so concerned with getting a hundred fake rhinos in the deck that I think I forgot to put the real rhinos in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> opponent scalding tar cracks it oh so we just went from 100 rhinos to zero rhinos real quick yeah we're gonna, we're gonna have to fix that opponent wall of crabs gets us back down near 200 cards passes well play mirror lake milia play explore draw a card play growth spiral draw a card get in with endurance opponent I can't believe I forgot the rhinos. <laughs> this matchup just keeps getting weirder. Opponent untaps. It's funny that we just incidentally have a ton of ways to shuffle our live graveyard back into our library. They're in the deck to find rhinos, like Primal Command. Endurance is a sideboard card, but we just accidentally have the ability to do that. Opponent mills us a bunch. And Field of Ruin. Well, float the mana. Get a... Hey, let's go forest so we can grow spiral opponent's got two cards in hand all right uh let's grow spiral all right so we get milled a bunch i mean opponent's getting us back down near 150 that's the danger zone good thing we have this endurance opponent passes well okay one two three glass pool mimic <laughs> copy endurance shuffle it back in 
<laughs> opponent's done. Opponent's done. Well, I gotta give our opponent a lot of credit. When you sit down with your mill deck and your opponent plops down a 150 card pile, I don't know if I'd even try. I might just give up right away because I don't even know if it's possible. Like, our opponent, I don't know what more they can do than what they did. It might just not be possible for the mill deck to mill 250 cards. Uh, the bad news is we, we somehow managed to not have rhinos in our rhino of woods deck i was so honestly so i was building this deck and i spent probably an hour like counting the rhinos if you count through this entire deck list if it ever loads on moto if you count through this entire deck list there are a hundred a hundred ways to make a rhino and i'm not you know counting mana doors or things like that things that like tutor up the rhino things that copy the rhino uh, there's a hundred different ways i was so focused on getting those hundred ways into the deck i forgot to add the actual siege rhinos want to try some rhino wits yourself presumably with the rhinos well then we've got the perfect playmat for you over at mtdgoldfishbirch.com only until the end of the month the playmat is designed in the mtd goldfish labs to hold up to 250 card battle of wits piles even if they have 100 rhinos just uh, don't forget the rhinos and if you're looking for some more awesome magic action make sure to check out last week's against odds where we turned ishin into an aldrazi in modern